Welcome back to this week's GMBN Racing News Show, everybody. I've got a jam-packed show for you with the EDR and EEDR from Valder Fassa Trentino. It was the European XC champs from Poland, and we've got some crazy crankwork news all coming up. Kicking things off with the EEDR then, and a monstrous race saw riders have a gruelling day out on the bikes, tackling eight stages. In the women's, Laura Charles of the Miranda Factory Racing pipped Flo Espanier with stage wins and consistency. However, it was a close battle with only five seconds separating them. In the men's race, saw another French victory with Kevin Marry of the Lapierre Zip Collective fight off Alex Marin, who had a couple of stinker stages on two and five, potentially costing him the win with Hugo Pigeon rounding out the top three. EDR time now, and what a race it was. The course in Val de Fassa, Trentino in the Dolomites would offer up 43.5k and 3,000 metres of descending on their loop. And the riders got a, well, a proper mix of big mountain riding. They had some gondolas to the top and pedaling assisted as well. Six, six stages awaited the riders with the longest, and my favourite being Tutti Frutti at just under 5.5k long. It was stage four and dropped a whopping 830 metres. In the men's race, Richie Rude was hauling, taking a stage win on two, but a mistake on the big stage four would cost him some valuable time. Something that I think Alex Rudeau would then capitalise on to cross the line in second place with a couple of stage wins and strong consistency. The French common cell rider is sitting in a good spot for the overall this year so far. Your winner then in the Elite Men's for the very first time is Pivot Factory Racing's Matt Walker. Congratulations with a host of top tens in the past, but only one other podium, a third in Sugarloaf last year. He gets his first ever victory by a margin of 16 seconds, taking two stage wins as well. It was awesome to see the Kiwi contingent showing him some big love as he crossed the line as well. On to the women's racing. It was the French powerhouse trio owning the podium again. Whilst we may have seen these three on the podium many times before, it wasn't since Ludenviel last year at round eight, they were all standing up there. The order of play this time was Melanie Poujan taking third spot. The Folger rider hadn't quite found her pace so far this year, but I think that issue has been got rid of, and while a stage win may have eluded her, consistency nabbed her a spot on the box. Morgan Shah carried on that podium life from Lear Gang, bumping up a spot from third place to, yep, you guessed it, second place. And it was Isabeau Corduria getting back-to-back -back wins as she would take three stages on the day, never dropping out of the top four and pipping Morgan by seven seconds on the day. Matt Walker would go on to win with a total time of 35 minutes, 24 seconds, whilst Alex Rudeau was a 35 minutes, 41. Isabeau Corduria's winning time was 41 minutes and 3 seconds, pipping Morgan Schaar with 41 minutes and 10 seconds. On to Krakow, Poland now, and the European Cross Country Championships. A wild and wet course greeted the riders with some finding the conditions, uh, should we say, tougher than others, even causing riders to have to get off and run on certain sections. In the men's race, the big Romanian Vlad Daskalu took the win, pulling away on the last lap to lead out Lars Forster in second place and Luca Brido would round out the top three in third. In the women's, Puck Peters kept up her winning ways over second place Mona Mitterwalner and Cena Fry in third. However, it wasn't all plain sailing as a mistake on the first lap for Puck did throw up a few question marks. However, she did come back strong and rode away to hold the lead the rest of the race, whilst Mona rode from behind to take a strong second place. Last up then, it's Crankworks time coming from Innsbruck, Austria. A jam-packed event left spectators not really knowing which way to look as everything from scrub off to speed and style went down. So hold on to your hats, peeps, because we are, uh, we're diving on in. In the men's downhill, Bernard Kerr took the win aboard that prototype pivot, high pivot full suspension bike, and in the women's valley hole reigned supreme once more to take top honours by a whopping eight seconds. Absolutely smashed it. Speed and Style saw Thomas Lemoyne take first place, throwing in a double flip in his run. I don't even know how you'd do that. Beating David Lieb and in the women's, Robin Gomez boosted her way to first over Harriet Burbridge Smith. Absolutely smashing it, throwing some proper steez all the way down the course there. Though, I gotta put a little shout out here, should we say, to Cade Edwards for this insane crash. But luckily, no cameraman or rider was particularly hurt and everyone walked away, but just check this out, it is bonkers. Jules Slalom was won by Jacob Jewett in the men's and Martha Gill took the women's. 
Right, now it's time for the big one, slope style, and a huge course for riders to tackle. Had everything from a skate park inside start, a little uh, quarter pipe there, to a huge whale tail, and of course, massive doubles. A jam-packed rider lineup meant it was always gonna be a battle for the win. But you'd be mad to bet against the favorite, Emil Johansson. The Swedish rider had the potential to become the triple crown winner take that in, but also break a record in the process, and that's exactly what he did. Emil took the win with a whopping 97.25 out of 100, thrown down 360 triple whips, more opposite tricks than I can actually name or could possibly count, and in taking the win, he also became the most winningest gold medal crankwork slopestyle rider ever with 12, a record previously held by Seminux. So uh, Emil, congratulations. An unbelievable weekend. Look, that's the end of the racing news show, people. It has been an unbelievable weekend. Don't forget, you can keep up with everything here on GMBN Racing Channel. Next week, we have got the Val de Sole downhill and cross country coming right up. So more insane racing action. Stay tuned, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.